Hi everyone, it's nearly Halloween and if you're looking for really cool and groovy simple ways of doing some decorating for perhaps your front porch, maybe your window with some lights in it, I hope I've got you covered. This is what I'm doing at my place this year and I just love it. I've got the outfit, no makeup, looking really spooky so that children coming to my door are going to be, oh, I love it. And don't tell me as adults that you don't love it. It's a celebrating time and I just can't wait for it to come around every year. Right, this is what I've got. I've got a big tall bucket here and I've lined it with some wet moss, or filled it with some wet moss and I've got just a little bit of moss over the top of that just to cover up any of the, the, um, the oasis because I don't really want to be seeing that. I've also got this lovely spooky mask which I'm going to put over the outside and down the side of my tin. Couldn't think of anything else because I can't find the my bust because that's gone missing. I've got some lovely branches here and the best branches are fruit branches. So just going to put a couple of those into there like so and have those bits sticking out. And the fruit branches are the best and the ones with all the sort of like, oh, that can go down to there. I love the ones that have got the moss hanging off them because they always look sort of really cool and very special. I was going to put those in but I don't think I'll go any higher than what I've got then there. I've also got a couple of beautiful big succulents and I, I love the texture of those and I love the colourway that is effect that you that, get. Oh from the succulents with the tin, very nice. And I'm just gonna put that around and down into there. I've got some lovely black grass, which I thought would be perfect. Stub, shove that into there and I'll put that into there. And then what I've got are these, look at these. Aren't they just great? Oh, I thought that they were just perfect. Putting that into there like that. And then getting this, bringing that up like, oops, oops, got stuck into there. Just bring that up into there like so. Now I've got to turn it around so that I can see, whoops, where I'm going here. Oops, a bit of a mess. Oh. And then that can go down into there like that, I think. And then with the lights, how easy was that? Just a couple of components, just what I had lying around. I think that that's easily the best way for me at this time of the year with my busyness for putting something together that will look good on the front porch so that when the kids do come for tricking and treating, I've got something visually interesting for them to have a look at. Hope you enjoyed that. I've enjoyed sharing with you. See you again another day.